Hi guys, welcome back to Creative Frenzy. Uh, so today I wanted to share with you um, how I break down my paper pads and how easily once you break down your paper pads, how easily you can make other things out of the smaller pieces that you have cut up. So what I usually do, I take a paper pad, it could be from anywhere, um, a lot of mine are just from Michael's. This is from the Spring Posy one, I believe. Um, anyone will do. It's fine. I just take a page of each one and I break it down into four by sixes and then I break that one in half and then I break that one in half. Okay, so you have three different sizes. So it's four by six, three by two, one by two all right or one by three so that's how I break it down and then you have a selection of different sizes to use for um, embellishments really so what I wanted to do I have been playing around with some um, different kinds of embellishments so I wanted to do these ones for spring and I thought they'd be kind of cute um, these you could use as bookmarks you can use them in your junk journals you can use them as journaling cards if you really wanted to. I kind of like um, this vellum I bought at one of my local um, discount stores, the the Forever in Time vellum print stack packs, and I thought they were kind of cute. Um, I have a lot of the saying ones, not all of them will fit in these smaller windows, so if you have a, a larger punch, then you could use the larger um, pictures or whatever right so I'm going by the size that I have this is just one of the EK success ones um, I think it's a two inch punch but regardless use whatever you have on hand if you don't have any of those things on hand you can cut it freehand uh, with an exacto knife whatever you choose to do so I thought this would be kind of fun to create a lot of us know how to make these. This is more for um, a beginner style or just for something different. So a lot of these paper pads, they have these really cool um, sheets of paper that you can cut apart. So if you keep them whole, you can use these as embellishments for um, journaling cards, for inside your junk journals, uh, for on... Um, uh, gift tags, different things. Use your imagination. You can use them for just about anything, but I thought it'd be kind of cute to try it on this. So because the paper pads are already coordinated papers, you can potentially do whatever you like. So what I like to do is I like to grab usually two of the same. It depends on what you have on hand. So we'll just set that aside for now. This is very simple. So all you're doing is you're taking two pieces of the larger ones. So this is the three by two, I believe. No, it is four by three. So it's four by six, four by three, and then you have the two by three. So there we go, all right? Ignore what I said earlier. <laughs> So we'll leave it at that. Sometimes mistakes are made. It's okay. I didn't have it written down. But, you know, if you just cut four by six and then in half and then in half, you're good to go. Okay? So I just grabbed two of the same. You can go really fancy. This is not as fancy, so you could go a little bit plainer. Um, let's see. Some of these papers are a little bit more intense than others so it depends on what you feel like doing so I just line them up and then I just take my punch to them you can trim sometimes it depends on which area of the um, the line I'm at you know when you're cutting on your paper cutter sometimes I go on the inside sometimes I go on the outside so they don't always line up perfectly that's okay so keep them together and it depends on what you want to do so I go all the way in try to be in the center as best as I can so a little bit of paper on this side 
little bit of paper on that side, more or less straight. I'm going to go for it. And then they line up nicely. All right. So it's basically the same concept. So let's work on this one first. We'll, we'll use that. I really like these little um, robins on here. They're quite adorable. But we're going to have this one on the front of here. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose something a little bit plainer. So a lot of these, um, they don't have enough of the picture that you want. So you can go something a little bit more subtle. And some of these colors might not be to everyone's taste, which is okay. If you have plain um, vellum, you could stamp your own designs on there. Or you could put some tissue paper in there if you like. Do I want to use green? I don't know. Some of these are quite intense. So what you can do is just sort of, you know, that's kind of cool. Okay, we'll do that. Let's see, we don't need too much of it. We just need a little piece. So all we are going to do is you could just use the piece that you punched out and then just cut it slightly larger to give you a template. So you're not wasting it, but you want enough so that you can glue the sides. So that's kind of cool. Um, I like that you can see through to the other side, which is, you know, a little bit slightly different when you're um, putting it together. And for this, I just use the uh, tape runner. Wet glue would just warp the vellum. It doesn't work too well on that, so. Um, straight would probably be helpful. Apparently I can't, uh, you know what? Once it's down, it's down, so make sure you're straight. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's not horrible. Yeah, it's not, it's not bad. It's fine. I'm okay with it. I'm going to go with it. And then you just go to town. Wet glue is not your friend in this case, remember, because vellum will not uh, hold it nicely. Lining it up can be a bit of a pain. That's your basic. You can trim it some more if it really kind of bothers you. I can't cut a straight line if my life depended on it, so we're just going to leave that alone. Because <laughs> you're cutting through two papers, it's going to take a little bit more strength. There we go. All right, and we can ink the edges. If you don't like inking edges, by all means, don't do it. But sometimes it can give that extra little bit and it hides some of your flaws. Like if you haven't lined it up properly and you don't want to trim it anymore, it's kind of nice to be able to hide some of that. It looks a bit more intentional. And if you're putting in a junk journal and you like that vintage kind of look, you obviously can use a darker brown or whatever you felt like. So, and then this can be just on the outside. You can pop it up if you want to. If you didn't want to um, use it as a bookmark kind of thing, or you can just glue it down as is. You can do whichever one you liked. Kind of like that 
idea. And then we can turn it into a bookmark. All right. In this case, what we can do is we can just put a grommet in the top, center it roughly in the center. Sure, we'll call it center. <laughs> So you can mass make these, a whole bunch of them, and then um, you could do Easter or Valentine's Day or whatever. These would make cute little um, invitations or even save the dates. You know, wedding season is coming up, so you could potentially do that. If you didn't want to um, make it as a bookmark, or you could still use it as a bookmark as is, you can always put a dangle on the bottom. It'll just be ribbon kind of thing instead of um, metal, you know, depending on what you want to use. You can do it either way. So you're going to have it coming out of the bottom of the book, which would be kind of cool too. All right. You can embellish them further. You can leave them as is, so whichever one you want to do. So let's do one more. So we've got two here, and let's do another one. Um, so let's do a floral for this one. Again, use your little cutout so you can use it as a template. I just use the back side of it. You can sort of judge how it's going to be. Sorry if I'm not in frame. You can hold it in place with the clip if you wanted to. Like I said, you know, if you have all these, um, you know, especially if you're not using your paper pads, this is a good way to go through them and do some mass making so that you can um, have things ahead of time. So when you go to, you know, everybody does card bases and whatnot else. You can do the same thing for embellishment. So you just have the very basic things ready so that you can use them when you need to. All right. It's not perfectly lined up. That takes a bit more practice sometimes. Oops. Sorry about that. Again, I'm going to ink it. And we all have these paper pads, and you know, you could do, um, you can use your six by six paper pads if you wanted to break those down, and you know, for smaller embellishments or whatever. It should be very useful. But if you have a bunch of these, and I'll show you how I store them because I do quite a few of these and um, in different from different paper pads rather and then I just use them for um, embellishments and things like that you can use 
use yarn, ribbon, a bow, whatever you felt like doing. But there we have three. So two on the top, one on the bottom, so you can always dangle from the bottom of the page or a book or whatever. Um, so that is one way to do these. And then if you have something like this, let's see. Let's turn this into a pocket, for instance, okay? So I will go grab a card blank so we can figure it out from there. So here is a card blank. Whatever size you use, you will adjust it to your uh, needs. What I like about this, it's a little bit too big, right? Which is okay, because in this case, what we're going to do is we are going to make this into the front of our card. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to tear some of... No, we're not going to tear it. We're going to get our paper cutter. <laughs> Get our paper cutter. We are going to take about mm, an inch and a half off, I guess. I should just about do it. We can always cut more off if we want to. It would be very difficult to add more onto it. So that's what we're going to end up doing here. So what we can do, we can go like this, we can leave some space for a sentiment, or we could put it on the bottom, or we could center it, whatever, whichever way you want. Or you can use a different piece here to lengthen it. Because what we're going to do is we're going to create a pocket, okay? We are going to do the corners on this too. Again, you can ink don't have to but since we're inking other things we might as well ink this too I'm just showing you some ideas on how you can um, use these These are just blank cards. And then what we're going to do is we are going to make our pocket down here. So we can go like this. So we have a sentiment uh, spot or we can do the sentiment on there. We can do either one. But the idea is to put that in there. Okay. Just going to snip that off and ink that. So now sending things in the mail, it can get quite costly if we do too um, bulky um, embellishments. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> So we want to try and make this as flat as possible so it doesn't cost extra. Okay. And also that way it won't get ruined when you send it in the mail. All right. But because everything is pretty much done for you, all of these will fit nicely within each other. And then what you can do is put your little bookmark in the front. And you can put your sentiment there. And you can write whatever you want on the inside. And then it's a gift and a card at the same time. So for whatever occasion you wanted it to be. 
okay? So that's one thing you can do with already pre-cut um, scrapbook paper, okay? I'll show you how I store mine. I store mine in one of these trays. So um, at Christmas time, Food Basics had these uh, wooden trays. They're brown. I just painted mine and put some bright cardstock in the bottom. Um, they sold uh, nuts in them at Christmas time, like uh, assorted nuts. So it's just kind of nice to be able to divide it up. You can also use um, these bamboo cutlery drawer trays, which would work quite nicely um, because, you know, same thing. So you can divide them all up. A lot of you have um, different trays for different things anyway. So what I like about it, you know, you can make a bunch of ephemera ahead of time. So I've made some for mail cards and things like that. Um, you could put them in junk journals. I have used them in junk journals. This is one that I turn into a little um, booklet. And here's another one. So I'll just show you those. And then there's a few other things that you can do. Um, but these are really cute. I just use some paper circles for hinges and I just put them back to back. So these would be great for um, like a little holiday album. Just a very quick and simple one. They're all made into little pockets so you can put pictures or notes or whatever you felt like in them. These would be great for a little baby album size if you had a you know some cardstock with the baby theme. This is one I made also with, oops, there we go, <laughs> um, just the larger 4x6 um, pieces. I glued these together back to back, but you could make them into pockets, so if you wanted to put photos in them or memorabilia or whatever. But it's the same kind of idea. I used the paper hinge, and then it's just fun to put together. So, you know, some of these have pockets. They all fit together nicely because they're all made to fit, obviously. So, just to tuck them away. And you can use your um, sentiment stamps. You can use um, journaling stamps, whatever you have. And a lot of these, like I said before, paper um, pads have little cutouts you can use. They'll have trims and things like that. This is the uh, desert one, which is really pretty cool. So, yeah, a couple of different things that you can make uh, if you already have them prepared ahead of time. So those are those. And then I had a couple of others. Let's see. So these are the very small um, size that I turned into little embellishment cards. So these are the um, the one by no two by three. Let's get the ruler out, shall we? Two by three. Yes, two by three. <laughs> but they're the perfect size for um, in you know journals and things like that. So you can use them anywhere: photo albums, scrapbook albums, whatever you felt like doing. And it's just fun to make because you can just sit in front of the TV or, you know, have YouTube in the background and have at it. So the humble um, shape or humble size of these um, scrapbook papers just really allow for so many different things that you can make, which, you know, in turn can get those creative juices going. So I hope this gave you some ideas. And uh, that you'll try breaking down some of your paper pads into these manageable bite-sized pieces so that you can create some of your own one-of-a-kind things. Uh, anything from cards to bookmarks to journaling cards to albums. I don't know. Have fun with it. And I hope you like the idea. And uh, let me know in the comments down below if you try any of these. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.